What up, fish tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you can see that I am excited, jacked, pumped, and amped, amped, fired up about this pond coming in here. Next week, we start to break down. Look, folks, it's Sunday. It's Species Sunday. I got no species for you today. It's all about the garden pond design for next week. Dustin's epic garden pond is about to happen. Been waiting for it since I was 14 years old. Here it comes. As I get the camera out, here's what we are doing today, folks. We're going through our final design measures for this wonderful little garden pond. I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you guys what we're dealing with, what we've got going on, and how it's measuring out. And I want your feedback on this, and I've got some questions. So, you know, thank you so much in advance for everybody that's already given me a lot of great feedback uh, on what we're doing. So the first things first, I want to just talk about like some just general design principles that I'm going to try to work into this. Um, they're not going to be exact, but stick with me here. We've got 16 feet by eight feet right here and then just think of it like a big square uh 16 this way eight that way or excuse me rectangle and then 16 across that way now obviously i'm going to dissect that or bisect that or whatever with this so this is going to be eight then we're going to have about 10 feet up here so that's the general layout of the main basin now here is what i know okay so Let's go to some fish tank knowledge that we got, right? The more plants you have in your tank uh, and the lighter fish load, the easier it is to keep plants, the nitrogen cycle, the whole deal. They remove the nitrogen, right? So I want a ton of plants in here, but everybody and their mama, their sister, their brother, and their friends is telling me koi will eat plants. I'm going to find that out on my own, but I'm sure as hell going to try. So I want to show you guys what I'm doing with the bog, and I want your feedback on this bog. So let me show you how it's going to break down. Let's jump down here. So we got the retaining wall, and then up here there's actually a six inch rise right there. And I talked about this the other day in the video. So there's a six inch rise, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it, I'm gonna keep it up there six inches taller, and then it's gonna come down, because I want this to be like, uh, what's that called, like infinity pool. Like it's gonna be real low and stay real low here. So if I'm like sitting like this, all I can see is a bunch of sick like taros and sweet pond plants coming up. But I wanna have the bog over in this section now. I want your feedback on this because the more plants, the easier it is and everything. So I'm going to do like a four foot circle and I'm open to opinions on this. I want to do like a four foot like circle or so around in here and have this all be bogged. So that's my question. I'm thinking about having it be only like six inches deep or so and having a bunch of great plants in there. That way, if I want to like rock it off and say like no koi allowed here, uh, I can do that. That's the main thing. How would you guys do this bog and how big would you do this bog? The waterfall is gonna go over here. You can see how it's drawn out over here. That's gonna be no problem. Shout out to my man, Greg Whitstock and Jeff from H2O Designs coming down. They're gonna be the ones polishing up the waterfall, making it sweet. It's all my design, but they're gonna come in and do the mechanical part of it. Uh, and then the other thing I have, and has our society really ruined our rainwater that much? and the shingles on my roof really gonna mess it up, that I can't use rainwater. I feel like that's such a huge waste. I feel like I could have the rainwater spill directly into a bog. I know it's like, you know, maybe there's some stuff on my shingles, but is anybody directly feeding their pond off of their roof? Because I would like to do that. I'd rather not, you know, jet it over into my neighbor's yard. So I wanna know your feedback on that. Would you use uh, rainwater off the roof? It's a lot of water. I mean, the whole roof like kind of comes down to that spot. So it's also new shingles too, so I don't know if that matters, but let me know your feedback on that and then the final thing that i want to know and look i'm going to do a ton of plants around here okay so we're going to do a whole other video but you guys are going to see all of this like it's going to be sick i just want to ask like the design questions right here what would you guys do around the edges i'm probably going to do rocks around here and have like big you know big rocks coming out they're going to be lower than the retaining wall though that's the key you got to have that look and then i'm going to probably try to plant some stuff that kind of grows up and out of the water kind of onto them but I'm not really sure like the finishing of it because I, I don't know, I'll do rocks and probably gravel, cut something kind of similar into here. The problem I have and I don't want to mess with is I don't want to have any like uh, soil or whatever because I don't want the weeds growing up in here. So I'm gonna do something similar design like this. Yes, I put every single one of those in myself and I'm gonna do the exact same thing in my pond with the exact same type of uh, rocks. But I want to know kind of like if you guys would grow something in like kind of areas like this. So 
that is what I am up to. I'm having a lot of freaking fun. Folks, please drive me a comment, like what you're thinking on this. Like, yo, dude, I like the idea, but have you thought about this? Oh, one other thing too. Is there any reason not to go deep as hell with it, right? Like, I mean, why would you not just go super deep? Uh, I am limited to a 20, uh, 20 feet across uh, liner. But if I'm only rolling eight foot over here, I can go down, you know, four feet or whatever with a little bit of room to spare. Now, I'm not going to go four feet, but I'm definitely going to go three feet in the middle. Drop me a comment on that. What do you think about how big I should make the middle? Uh, everybody have a fabulous freaking week. You'll be seeing all kinds of videos from me this week and a couple of sales to help me pay for it so I can use your support there. Everybody have an awesome one. Subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Like.